please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes, yeah, salute your hand over heart. Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To suppose the colors. You may be seated. Welcome to our inauguration for the year 2015. We are honored again to have the scouts, most many of them, although I understand the number may be as high as 50, are in the folder of 63, so we thank you gentlemen for being here and presenting colors and meeting our we would like to now have Elizabeth Cataldo um, join us in sitting the Star Spangled Man. traditions and creeds, and so we take this moment as we consider the years before Monroe again, another inauguration, as we recognize those who are joining in the leadership of our community. Thank you that we are part of the experiment in, in democracy of this nation. Many, many centuries now have gone by and we still try to blend all of our different interests, our needs, our concerns, our views of life, our religions together so that we might have a consensus of a life together, a democracy in which all can be heard and all respected. So we thank you, Lord, that we can honor the men and women that are giving of their time as we recognize and inaugurate them into their new positions or continue in the positions they have held for the coming years. So may your blessing be with us, your guidance be upon us as we look forward to the years before us within our town of Monroe. In our Lord's name, may we pray, amen. <laughs> now I would invite the Honorable T.R. Rowe and also J.P. Swidzinski, uh, as a, I'm going to inter integrate the, the functions here of, of both taking and also uh, JP has a, a very honorable uh, pin to be given to the for the town of Monroe. So we'll follow the order. We'll leave Mr. Fabric for last. The first shall be last is to some that. Um, but then we invite the town council members, being Phyllis Kensky, Kenneth Kellogg, 
Nicholas Kapoor, Frank Lido, Enid Lapellas, D.D. Martin, Sean O'Rourke, Kevin Reed, and Terry Rooney. If you all would please come forward for your attendance. Where do you think is the best place? Well, you can hear and you'd be there. That's what it's called. officials, so congratulations to, to all the council members and of course everyone else, and it's nice uh, that we are, we're swearing in members of both parties uh, together, and uh, hopefully that's a good harbinger for things to come, as was just said. What did you say? Can we meet in the middle as we were uh, getting ready for the, for the oath, and maybe that could be a theme here. In any event, if everyone would uh, kindly raise your right hand. You do solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Connecticut, and the Charter of the Town of Monroe for as long as you remain a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge according to law the duties of the office of town council for the Town of Monroe to the best of your ability, so help you God. Yeah. Great, congratulations. <laughs> So as part of new traditions, Ms. Martin, don't go too far. I'm Jay Fischerton, Siena State Representative that served in Monroe and part of Newtown. And something that I would like to start as a new tradition here, um, as we begin a new term, a new future for the town of Monroe, is over my left lapel pin, I'm sorry, over my left lapel, you'll see a pin. And what it is, is a version of our town seal. The pin says town of Monroe, Connecticut, it has the inscription 1823, which is the year the town of Monroe was founded. And it has a picture of the person that our town was named after, President James Monroe. So as a token of good, uh, good, for, uh, good, faith, uh, good fortune, good faith, and as a token of service to the town of Monroe, I'd like to present the pin to each one of the elected officials getting sworn in tonight to remind them that when they're in the budget season or when they're in the board of finance meetings and they're grinding out meetings or grinding out hearings that they're there to serve the people of the town of Monroe and that's why we're here for the uh, utmost reason so i'm just going to present these to each elected official so thank you it's going to take too long to pin everybody in the interest of saving you all some time I'm just going to present them, and I assume these uh, fine elected officials will have the capabilities of pinning themselves. Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Connecticut, and the Charter of the Town of Monroe, for as long as you remain a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge, according to law, the duties of the office of town clerk for the Town of Monroe to the best of your abilities, so help you God. Yay. And elected to the position of town treasurer, Deborah Hine. Thank 
You raise your right hand, please. You do solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Connecticut, and the Charter of the Town of Monroe, for as long as you remain a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge, according to law, the duties of the office of Treasurer for the Town of Monroe, to the best of your ability, so help you God. Thank you. And elected to the tax collector position, Emmanuel Canberra, Jr. Please raise your right hand. You do solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Connecticut, and the Charter of the Town of Monroe for as long as you remain a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge, according to law, the duties of the office of tax collector for the Town of Monroe. To the best of your ability, so help you God. I do. Congratulations. Elected as constables are Patricia Tomchik and Victor Yancey. Please raise your right hand. You do solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Connecticut, and the Charter of the Town of Monroe, for as long as you remain a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge according to law the duties of the office of constable for the Town of Monroe, to the best of your ability, so help you God. Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Connecticut, and the Charter of the Town of Monroe, for as long as you remain a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge according to law the duties of the office of member of the Board of Education, to the best of your ability, so help you God. I do. Great. Thank you very much. Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Connecticut, and the Charter of the Town of Monroe, for as long as you remain a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge according to law the duties of the Office of Planning and Zoning Commission, to the best of your ability, so help you God. I do. I do. Thank you. Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Connecticut, 
and the charter of the town of Monroe for as long as you remain a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge, according to law, the duties of the office of planning and zoning commission alternate, to the best of your abilities, so help you God. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. to the Board of Finance, Deborah Duchess, Carl Ferraro, Ted Quinlan, and Christine Rigby. Would you please raise your right hand? Hands? You do solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Connecticut, and the Charter of the Town of Monroe for as long as you remain a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge, according to law, the duties of the office of Board of Finance of the Town of Monroe to the best of your ability, so help you God. Great. Congratulations. of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Connecticut, and the Charter of the Town of Monroe, for as long as you remain a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge, according to law, the duties of the office of first selectman of the Town of Monroe, to the best of your ability, so help you God. Who we are. 
We are independents, we are an affiliates, we are Monrovians. We all have pins that tell us we're Monrovians now. So let's act like it. The election's over, let's move forward, let's be united. Because there's a lot of good things we can do, and when people sit there and don't want to see the positives, let's try to turn that around. As Ms. Stone knows, anybody that walks in the office, 99% leaves with a smile because they've seen that we do good work here. We have a great state representative, we have a great probate judge, we have two great senators. Marilyn Moore actually came up to me in a meeting and said, look, we need to get more involved. I know that. Kevin Kelly is always up here. Marilyn Moore is going to be up here. Joe Gannum wants to be involved in the city, the town of Monroe. He might not have been in the past, he might not have been in the past, but he actually sought me down at a fundraiser and said, look, I want to continue what Bill Finch has done in working with the town of Monroe. That to me is important. That to you should be important. That people want to reach out to us. Yes, I go to a lot of regions throughout the reading, region, the region and even into Hartford now. And I can't tell you the respect that we have in Hartford now. We had it before, but with, with um, JP, Kevin, and Marilyn Moore working together, I've gone up to Marilyn Moore and asked her to fix the Route 25 111 corridor because of people like JP, because of people like Mayor Bill Finch, because of Pat Tomchek. It's a team, it's a unity. Those of you who want to be a part of the team, great. Those of you who don't want to be part of the team, we'll still going to work with you. I still want to hear from you. So I want to thank you all for coming tonight. There's a lot of good things coming up for the next couple of years, and I know you're all going to be a part of it, so thank you. negativity often presented to us. But here we would like to meet in the middle and to find the goodness that is in Monroe and there is goodness in Connecticut, there's goodness in our nation. May we be mindful of all that goodness and especially bless those who have taken on either new or renewed commitments to our community, to our town in various functions that we have honored this evening. May your peace be with us. May your shalom be among us. May the goodness that is in our hearts be among us and abide with us always. Amen. Amen. Understand as refreshments in the, in the <laughs>